Hello, we're here today. Um, this was our, this is as close as we were allowed to get to the Apple store. Um, pretty amazing, they anticipated us. We had a staging area at a Starbucks and they actually intercepted us at the staging area. Uh, we're impressed. They hired an, uh, a, a cop, a special duty officer. He was inside the store. Um, we were approached by a detective and by a, um, a Mr. Richard Barber, director of operations of the Polaris Fashion Place. Uh, I have to say I'm very impressed. Clearly Apple did their homework. Uh, they, they knew that they anticipated our event. They knew that we were coming. Uh, but obviously we're delighted because they went to so much trouble to prevent us from getting our message across. We were able, however, to uh, get a letter to the manager, which we're hoping he'll convey to Steve Jobs, and I'm going to read it now. Chairman Steve Jobs, we write you as concerned citizens, alarmed at Apple's computer's leadership of efforts to get Congress to enact yet another corporate tax holiday. American working families simply can't afford to shoulder any more of the tax burden when your company and others seeking this special privilege can easily pay your fair share. Together, corporate America is sitting on a sea of cash, over $2 trillion, which should be more than enough to invest in the future and create good paying jobs now. Why then are you spending millions lobbying Congress for totally unnecessary tax relief? How much tax will you avoid paying if Congress grants your wish? At a time of savage public service cuts and calls for fiscal austerity, why should we, the taxpayers, give you another $4 billion tax break? Did you really earn only 13.9% of your profits in the U.S.? Or are you shuffling your patents and profits to offshore tax havens like Ireland and the Netherlands? Will you show us where those profits were earned? In 2004, Congress gave you a $255 million tax holiday. Did you use that to create jobs in the U.S.? If so, how many? Until we get answers to these reasonable questions and Apple Computer stops leading the charge for this wholly unnecessary corporate giveaway, you can expect visitors at your retail outlets in Ohio and across the nation. All right, that was delivered. Uh, that was the best that we can do. Uh, we're going to come back. I think we're obviously going to have to organize it to be much more of a surprise. Uh, we're definitely not done with this campaign until Apple relents. And I'm delighted that I was joined here by my colleagues, and I'm going to pass the microphone. I support what Alex said 100%. My name is Bodachia. My name is Zerka Abid, and I'm so happy that I came here and we gave a strong message to Apple. I'm really, as, as Alex said, I'm very delighted that they had to go through all this pain. That means we did send our message that Apple has to pay their fair share of taxes and they cannot just, you know, go with all these dodging anymore. Stay tuned as U.S. Uncut Ohio plans for our next attempt to confront Apple and make them stop this horrible behavior.